What's up everybody? Today we are shooting whiskey and for that we're gonna need a bucket and a bed sheet. And just like that, we got a photo studio. So I'm using my Godox SL60W uh, with a strip box diffuser on it. And in front of that, I hung this bed sheet to get this nice diffused uh, gradient light on the bottle. So hopefully you can see this, but by having this sheet here, I'm making this nice gradient across the bottle that just looks so great. You have to think about how you want your lights to hit the bottle. When placing your light, if you're too close to the sheet, you will get this hard edge on the bottle. And the further away you go, the more of a gradient you will get. As it is right now, I need more light on the label. And because I'm only using one light, I need to use one of these. I have forgotten what it's called. It's like five in one thingy-mabob diffuser thing. Um, it's the golden one uh, to reflect the light uh, and give a more warm light, I guess. And the white one. And inside I have a black and a silver one. And in the middle there's more diffuser if I need that. And it's really quite simple. I'm just placing this uh, reflective on, the, on this side. And when the light is coming through, it will uh, bounce off the white edge over to the bottle. For the lighting setup, I'm gonna try something new that I actually saw in a YouTube video a while back. Now, what we're gonna do is take one of these tube lights and then stick it into the bucket, and voila, now we've got a nice diffused light. So, I went out and bought this bucket. It was the only one I could find. Uh, I really don't want one with text on it because you're gonna be able to see it on the bottle, but uh, hopefully, this clean side uh, can be used. The reason I'm trying this bucket out is because when I'm using my NAND light behind a bottle like this, I just get this like like stripe, I guess, behind the bottle, and I don't really like that. So by putting it in the bu uh, in the bucket, I'm um, getting this soft light uh, against the bottle, like filling out the whole bottle. I'm gonna take a couple of shots with the light in the bucket. After that, I'm going to take out the light and uh, put it on the floor so it hits the wall behind the bucket or behind the bottle, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to take some more shots with the light from the side only. And after that, I'm going to merge the two images together in Photoshop. So I have imported my two photos into Lightroom. I slapped on a quick edit and after that, I'm just importing it into Photoshop directly from Lightroom. Now I have my two photos in Photoshop. As you can see here, it's just right above each other. As you can see, it doesn't really line up perfectly. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lower the opacity. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just moving the picture so it fits. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not gonna use the whole photo, but as good as possible. And then I'm gonna choose my top layer here with the liquid lit up from the behind and I'm gonna create a layer mask and invert it with command I on Mac. And now I can zoom into the liquid and just take my paintbrush. And because the layer mask has turned black, I'm gonna turn the brush to white. Now I can just paint in where I want the liquid to show. So yeah, basically just look over your photo, make sure you haven't missed anything and just 
you can use as much time as you want on this. The final thing I want to do is uh, remove this uh, reflector here. So to remove this, I'm just going to take my lasso tool and then make a selection and I'm just going to use the content aware fill. And it seems like it's messing up a little bit there, so I'm just going to remove the spot where I'm taking the information from and something like that looks great. And just like that, you've got your final shot. This is not perfect in any way. It's just a way to show how you can do it with very simple means. Uh, if I'm gonna critique myself on this, I would have uh, rotated the bottle a little bit more because I'm kind of cutting off some of the letters here. Um, and I think maybe I should um, have used lesser light on the liquid. It's kind of too neon. I guess <laughs> I would call it, um, but you know how to do it, just try it out and you can try it as much as you want and uh, find the result you want. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked what you saw and I really hope I see you next time.